Liam McGurry here back in the program. Got Phil Davis coming up here, Bellator 163. I apologize, excuse me. The undefeated Liam McGurry is, still, is getting ready to fight Phil Davis. Um, 11 and 0, man, you you are on that, uh, you're on a bit of a terror. You're, you're kind of kind of getting your way through. You fought Tito back a year ago, back in September of 2015, and you haven't right. fought since. I got to ask, why the long layoff? Um. I was uh, I had to have surgery. I had to I, I was dealing with an injury from the second round of the tournament. Um I, I needed to get it fixed. You know, I was I was struggling with the uh, the fight camp with for Emmanuel Newton. Um I found out that a, a week before my fight my coach was actually going to pull me out of the fight. Um it, it's it, it, yeah, he saw, he saw me he saw me. You're all right. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. But um but I had to get this uh, this fixed. So I got it fixed. It took a little bit longer for me to get better than what I thought it was going to do. Um, but so I, I just didn't want to rush it. You know, I mean, I knew I was going to be fighting Phil Davies next. And this guy's a tough kid. You know, I didn't I didn't want to go in there with uh, with half an injury or feeling half only half 50 percent. I wanted to go in there full guns blazing and, and be 100 percent. So I'm assuming now you're 100 percent or 100 percent for fight camp. There's always going to be that that banged up elbow, that the dinged up eyeball, the little hurt finger. Like there's always crap. But yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm feeling good, man. I'm I'm feeling really good. This fight camp is is gone well. It's been a long one. It's been a very long one. Um, but I mean, I'm feeling great. You Six, know, Sixteen uh, weeks. Have you been doing this training camp? Is, is this training camp going to be sixteen weeks? Did I hear that right? So I think uh, I was back in England in July. And uh, I was sorting out my visa, and as soon as I come back in July, I was straight into sort of fight camp. I, I didn't stop. So how? Oh yeah, yeah, it's, four yeah, four yeah it's gonna be four months. So four months long. Wow, that's that is a long ass training camp. Sixteen weeks. So they're yeah. they're about close to sixteen weeks. Um, yeah. So did you did you start like right away jumping? You're going 100, percent or were there a couple weeks of like let's just get the body acclimated, let's go. Let's do long, low intense rounds and long, low intense practices to kind of get yourself back together again. No, I was I was back training beforehand because as soon as I with my rehab, I was doing a lot of rehab and a lot of wrestling. So I was just doing drills and, and so my body was still fit. I never really stopped training. Only the time when I when I when I couldn't walk. So as soon as I, as soon as I could start walking again, I was I was back in the gym. Just doing light stuff, nothing, nothing's heavy, nothing serious, not throwing each other around or anything, and just going over the basics. So when July came and then I went back home, I was already in half decent shape. So uh, and then when I came back from uh, from for the visa thing, I was just I was just flat out on it, you know. I was three four sessions a day, just just going. How stressful was the visa issue? It's it's getting easier and easier every time I do it, you know. I still have the the same. Oh God! Imagine, are they are they going to give it to me? You know, it's like I have to go for an interview with uh, in the American embassy, and it's a big daunting place. You know, they've got big ass gates around it. They're surrounded by armed police as well. It's like it, it's a serious business. You walk in that one big hallway where there's all these people, the numbers on the screen. It, it's 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 serious. So oh, you're, talking was, about the, you're talking about the American embassy in London. Yeah, I have to go all the way to London to do this. Holy yeah, crap! I, I had place, no idea. Yeah, man, I have to go face to face with the uh, with the girl there or whoever it is, and 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 have the interview. But luckily enough, the girl who I had this time, she did the last visa. So so I walked in there, and she's like, oh, "I remember you," and I'm like, "Oh, okay." She just started reading out a load of stuff, had, took all my paperwork, stamped a few bits and pieces, and we're like, "Yeah, here, kiss your hand, kiss your passport, and then uh, we'll we'll send it off to you." I was like, "All right." So I was literally in and out in ten minutes, done. And she, um, um, do you have to get a, an attorney involved when you get these visa things? Because you, because you are competing in the U.S., you do have to have a work visa to work. You know, because it's income coming in. Like, is there, there's an attorney someplace in here that does everything, or are you so good at it now? That's just like, no, I know exactly what I got to do, and I can just get it done myself. Oh no, no, the lawyers take care of things. Like they speed the process up. I have to fill out all the paperwork, and I don't even know what paperwork. There's so much booklets I have to do, and uh, it's it, that's that's the headache part. The DS-160, there's like about 40 pages I've got to go through. And I have to remember like the addresses. But it also it also drags up bad memories of like my past, what I had to leave behind. So I have to go through all of those, my criminal record, write all that down. And it's just it's just a load of bollocks what I don't want to do, really. Well, yeah, but it also, too, lets you know how far you've come. 
from your criminal from your criminal past to right now, you're undefeated still. You're in New York City. You know, some people are going to say it's the greatest city in the country in the world. Um, you know, you're, you're training at one of the best spots in town. You have some of the best trainers. Yeah. It's like, you know, you, you've kind of got the American dream a little bit. I mean, so it's, it's got to, it's also got to show you every time you do it, like, wow, I've really come a long way. Yeah, th- uh, there is that point, you know, I mean, I do sit back and after I filled out all the forms and I'm like, wow, I'm still, I'm living in America, you know, and it's like this, this is actually happening. I look up on my, my side and I've got my belt sitting up there and it, it's, it's a nice it's a nice feeling. I've, I've always, I've always appreciated it, and I, and I, I love, it. I love the, I love the life that I've been living. Uh, do you ever think about becoming a citizen of the U.S. or once the fighting career is done, you're gonna moving back to to um, England? I don't know. You know, I, I still haven't decided yet what what I'm gonna do there yet. But uh, I know I, I do like going home, and I do miss my family and that. But I mean, it's a six hour flight, it's a seven hour flight, so. It's, uh, I don't know. I don't know what happened yet. We were talking off air, we were talking about traveling and what have you. Your six hour flight from New York to London, it's the same yep. time to go from Hawaii to Los, to, uh, Los Angeles. So li- literally it's that close. Like you like, you really think about it. You're like, well, I'm really not that far away. Like a six hour flight. Like you have to fly six hours to go from LA, almost six hours to go from LA to New York. So right. from, exactly. from, so New York is halfway between flight wise between LA and England. So it's like, yeah. it's really not that far. Like you really think about it, like, oh, yeah, I'm not that far away from the family. But, yeah, I get it. Like, you miss your family. It'd be great to see them every Sunday as opposed to exactly. once every couple of months. But then it's America. You know, it's like, you know, you, yeah. you get uh, – uh, you you kind of get involved in it, especially because the way that you're being trained and the way that things are going. Yeah, you get sucked into the lifestyle here, and it's like – you're doing stuff. You're always doing stuff. And someone, you're going to come around and see us. You're supposed to come and see us last week. Oh shit! Yeah, I got I got lost in in the city, you know, wandering around doing this and doing that, and yeah, it's it's easy, it's easily happens. So let's talk about Phil. Obviously, great wrestler at Penn State. You know, smart kid. Um, obviously, his wrestling is going to be that's his, his main forte. Your striking is better. Everyone knows this. Your uh, his wrestling is better. Everyone knows this. Um, he's better on top uh, than you are on top, but you're better than him on the bottom, and he is on the bottom. And with him on top, it's neutral. So if you're on the bottom and he's on top, it's neutral. Now it's a game of who's going to play what and how things are going to work out. So when you're going through tape and you're looking at this fight and you're visualizing how I'm going to win this fight, what's the first thing that comes to your head when how I'm going to finish this fight? Knock him out. Okay. That that was my guess, but I also <laughs> could see you going, no, no, I'm going to submit him. Like I got, I see something I can submit him with because I know your style and I know how yeah. I know a little bit of how your head works. I, I see a couple of things that you would want to work on on him that's already in your game that you'd want to try to put on him. So I, I didn't know if you were, no, I got a submission coming. Like I, I know where I can catch him. Yeah. I mean, I have a, I have a submission game plan. Um, I have a knockout strategy as well. I've been working all, all areas of this game because the dude is good. You know I mean? I've, I've literally just been watching his last fight against King Mo. You know, he's, he is, he is a talented fighter. You know, he's ranked number five in the world for, uh, for a reason. This is the reason why I've been training for so long, as, as, as long as I have been, you know, just preparing. Um, I have had a year out, so it's, it's going to be uh, it's going to be one of those ones going in there. But I'm I will be prepared. I mean, I'm, I'm prepared for what he has to offer. Um, I'm not going to sit here and tell you my game plan on the on the ground. But um, but yeah, I've got I've got some nice tricks up my sleeve. Um, I, I train with the best team in the world in, in, in jiu-jitsu. You know, it's... You know, I, I would normally, for most guys, I have, like, an argument for that. I, I really don't have an argument for you. I, I just don't. Like it's, it is... If it is not the... is one of the best, if it's, not, if it's not the best, you know, grappling team in the, in the, in the, in the world, really. I mean, I don't exactly. see any other place yeah. I can actually put it together. So, who, who are you wrestling with, though, that's tall and lanky, that actually knows how to wrestle to mimic Phil's style of shooting from 25 feet away and getting a hold of you because he's so long? Um, I've got a couple of secret, um, secret, secret weapons who I've been training with in the wrestling room and is sick, sick jujitsu as well, you know? So they've, they've, uh, they've given me the best look that f- of, of, for Phil Davies I could possibly get. I've got my guys who are big, strong, big, strong dudes. They hold me down they They're doing their, they're doing their part with the jujitsu. And then I have my coach, Jason Strout, you know, he's, he's, Working, I was working his magic with his, with my with my hands and feet. Who's going to be in your corner for this fight? Oh, Jason Stroud will be there. I've got um, uh, be uh, Dave Branch. Dave Branch will be there with me as well, and then a couple of guys. Okay, so 
okay, you bring you bring in two other training partners to come in as well when you go travel. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, you're not traveling that far. It's only Mohegan Sun. I mean, it's it's, right, it's right up the two street. hours up the road. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's not that far. Um, and I've got for, coming up for as well. Baz, Gaz, and uh, the, the Turkish one is uh, is staying is staying home. But uh, but brother Connor's coming over as well, so it's it's going to be a good. good oh, laugh. good, good. It's going to yeah. be a good little group. For those at home yeah. that don't know, New York City to to, to Mohegan Sun, Connecticut, it's literally a two hour. It's a two hour ride. It's it's easy and quick, so it won't be that far for for Liam to get up there. No time change, and obviously the food's the same. So, um, so you win this, you win this, right? You keep the belt. Who are they going to give you next? I don't know. I had the exactly the same question asked for me uh, asked me today. You know, it's. I'll fight whoever they put in front of me. You know, it, it really, it really makes no odds to me. But it's now it's got to who, who, to make sense. You know, it's like I don't. Linton Vassell's been screaming out for a for a title fight, but it doesn't make no sense me and him fighting over here. You know, with two English two English guys, that fight needs to be happen back in London. I'm gutted I missed out on the July card. You know, hopefully that I can get on the on the next one when they when they plan to go over there. But I mean, I really don't know. Whoever whoever deserves it. Well, with Chael Sonnen put in there, and we all know that the sport has become more about entertainment, you know, and Chael and Tito are going to face off here in uh, December or some, I forget when, but they're facing off at some point. Let's see how that one goes down first, shall we? You know, it's like, he hasn't had a fight in three years. That's what I said. He's, uh, I don't know if you, here, I'm not slagging the man down or anything, right? But I mean, I saw a photo of him trying on the gloves. He don't look like the child son, and we we knew back day, back then, you know. Three years older, three years not not. I mean, I get you can be training every day. You can be training every day. Like I train every day. It I, hurts, man. I do not look the same. I'm not. I'm not in there going. I have to come in here and get punched in the head because I have a fight yeah. coming up. I'm like, you know what? I don't feel like it. I'm not gonna get hit today, and so I just won't do yeah. it. Like you can't do that when you're in, when you're a fighter when you're still competing. Yeah. So we'll see how that goes. But if he wins, he beats Tito. He can jaw his way into a title fight. Oh, that's how he managed to do it in the, all the other title fights he had in, in, in the UFC, you know? Like I say, man, I'm, I'm welcome. I'm welcome to a fight with Chow Sonnen. I'm welcome to a fight with anybody, you know? T. Ortiz chirps himself up. He managed to get a, a, a title fight. It makes no odds to me, man. I, I really, really don't mind who it is that's, that stood in front of me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do what I'm going to do to Phil, and I'll carry on doing to everybody else in, in Bellator. The same way. How, how exactly. long is uh, how long is your contract? How many more fights do you have left on your contract? Do you even know? I uh, I think I've got a few. I think I got a few fights left on there. I just signed a new multi multi deal, so I mean I've got a few fights on there. I think Bellator are doing th- good things. You know they're they're doing really good things. I know they're going to be looking around for more light heavyweights to add to this division. Um, I welcome them as well. You know it's it, it's I'm I'm looking forward to it. The, the future with Bellator is 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 going to be very good. It's going to be fun to see how this fight works out with you and Phil. I'm, I'm super interested in see how the, how the, the game plan works um, for each of you. I'm interested to see who can who can push their game plan, and and I have I I have in my head how I think the fight's going to go, but then when the fight actually goes, it's going to be completely different. That, and that's how it always yep. works for me. Like I I think on paper and how I've seen these guys fight and what happens in the past, this is what's going to happen. And all of a sudden the fight happens, you're like wow, it, that completely surprised me. Nothing happened the way I thought it was. So. Um, I do think right. you're going to keep your belt. I do think you're still going to be the champ at the end of it. But I think it's going to be it's going to be super hard and super tough. And like, there's going to be a lot of points in the fight where you're going to be like, I'm caught. Like, I, I have really got to fight out of this position. He's got me pinned down. Yep. He's got me caught in some place. I'm starting to get te- I mean, I'm starting to get ground and pound a little bit. I'm really going to have to bite down my mouthpiece and get out of this position. There's going to be a couple of those in the fight. And then once you do that, it's going to be like, okay, I can settle in now. I know my my rhythm, my pattern, my distance. So it's going to yep. be a great fight, man. This is this is a great fight. I can't wait to watch it. Oh, I can't wait to get into it. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Well, for you, you've been training for 16 weeks. you got to be bored yeah. as hell. So, uh, oh, are, you, me around a twist. <laughs> are you Are you still with the same bird? Do you still have the same lady? I, I do, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know, we haven't talked in a while, so I wasn't sure if something happened in the middle of it there. Is she? She's still with you in New York too, right? Well, she sat right next to me. Okay. Here, yeah. So how is she dealing with this, this long layoff of yours? Because it, you only make money when you fight. You haven't fought in a year. So how is that? How was it during that time where you're like, I got to fight. I got to, you know, like there's there's time where you're you're getting anxious, wanting to get in there, and your body's not healed up yet. You had to sit. So how was it? How did she deal with that? That Liam, you got to sit down and shut the fuck up for a little bit. You're driving me nuts. I drove myself nuts, but yeah, she dealt with it quite well. You know, um, she's a she's a little trooper. This is the. It's been. It's definitely been a hard year. 
You know, it's uh, I've had my I go crazy when I, I can't do I can't train as do we all. You know, it, and it's 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 very it's very difficult. You know, and uh, I guess that's why we went traveling. You know, we went we went off here there and and we saw a few things and and just just did as much as we possibly could in 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 the time with well, me and with crutches. It was it was quite hard. You know, so uh, but yeah, that no, she she handled it quite well. Yeah, she definitely she definitely did a good job. Good, yeah, I like to hear that. That's uh. It definitely can be bad. It definitely can be because you're like used to doing stuff and then you're on the foot yeah. all the time now. Now you're never leaving. You're always there and it's like. She was warned. She was warned by a couple of people. So it's going to get rough. You know, it's going to get really, really rough sometimes, you know, and, uh, and it did. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you, man. It did. You know, it was uh, this, this, everything goes around in your head and it's just like you're stuck in a, in a room and you're like, oh, I just got to go out. I got to do something. And when you do go out, you can't trying to go down them escalators on the stairs and I almost fell down and I'm like, this is fucking terrible. But yeah. I can't even imagine because I've only been on crutches and like on the West coast where we don't have to worry about that much stuff. And in, in New York, it's all escalators and subways and trains and you know, the streets are always full and you stand there even trying to hail down a taxi cab is a pain in the ass. Uh, people bump in here and they don't really care. And it's like, it's a, it's a nightmare. It was a nightmare. Yeah. Jeez, man. Well, I'm glad you're through it. I'm glad you're back. And I'm glad things are going well. I can't wait to see this fight. Good luck in the rest of your training camp. Have fun. Thank you, man.